Hey, what's up guys? Tom Spark back with another video. And today I'm going to be discussing geo blocking. Now, in this video, I'm going to pretty much tell you everything you need to know about geo blocking. So, if you're outside of the US, let's say Australia for example or anywhere else, um, you might have restricted access to US only websites. Um, a couple websites like Hulu or Sling TV, um, the Netflix US content library, and a bunch of other sites um, have restrictions based on where you are in the real world. So the way it works is that when you connect to your computer, you connect to the internet, you have an IP address. This IP address contains a geolocation through the metadata, which basically shows these websites where you're connecting from. So if you're in Australia and you connect to Hulu.com, you're not really going to be able to access the website because it's showing that you're living in Australia and Hulu is really a US only service. So that's basically what geoblocking is. So why does this happen? Well, essentially what it comes down to is content producers, licensing restrictions and things like that that make it so certain countries could watch certain things and certain countries can't. Um, geoblocking is used to categorize and divide the world into market segments essentially. So companies like Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, um, Sling TV, they make their content location specific. So essentially these websites, they are doing this because it's the easiest way to make licensing terms. They make the most amount of money by doing this. So it also means that these companies can charge different prices on different markets and things like that. So how can you get past geoblocking? Well, if you understand how geoblocking works as I just discussed, it really has to do with your IP address. So in order to hide your IP address or change your IP address, you're going to have to use something called a VPN or a proxy. Now, back in the day when um, streaming services were really getting popular, you could use VPNs to pretty much access any one, change your IP really easily. So pretty much any VPN was working. However, recently a lot of VPNs don't really work with these services because these services are kind of cracking down and blacklisting shared IPs from these services. So what you're going to want to do is find a VPN that allows you to bypass some of these geo-blocked restrictions that these websites have. Um, but you're also going to want a VPN that allows you to torrent and other things as well. Essentially, you're just going to want the best VPN for everything because you don't want to have one VPN for streaming. Uh, one VPN for gaming, one VPN for security, one VPN for your phone. Um, you don't really want to do that. It's just going to get too complicated. So guys, if you are looking to unblock the US version of Netflix, which has the most content, if you want to access YouTube, if you want to access BBC iPlayer in the UK, if you want to access Hulu, if you want to access Sling TV, you're going to need a VPN to mask your IP address. And I know you're probably wondering, what is the best free VPN to do this? Well, the free VPNs are really going to be a solution. The reason is that most free VPNs that are semi-decent um, really only offer free trials, which are pretty limited. Maybe you'll get like one show that's 20 minutes out of uh, the free service, um, which is going to be kind of a hassle. And you're going to be locked out for the rest of the month. Um, some services like this are Winscribe. That's probably really the only one I would recommend to try out. But of course, if you're going to want to use it continually throughout the month, you're going to have to upgrade your subscription model with that service. Now, if you want the best VPN for geoblocking, I would recommend TorGuard VPN, mainly due to their add-on system, which allows you to add a dedicated IP address, which is a unique address that only you use while using their service that keeps you hidden from popular um, shared IPs that these services like to use. So example, if you get a dedicated IP, um, you're not going to be confused with other users when you're accessing the service and they're not going to block you from using their service since you're using a VPN. That's what Netflix has been doing most popularly. They block VPN um, IP addresses, but with a dedicated IP, they can't really detect that it's a geo unblocker. So there you go. Now there are a couple other options out there between um, ExpressVPN and NordVPN. Windscribe, Safer VPN. I've done a top five Netflix video uh, VPN on my channel. But as you can see, if you even go to these videos, a lot of people are complaining that um, they're having problems accessing um, some of these services intermediately and stuff like that. 
since they're not using dedicated IPs. Now, just remember guys, TorGuard is my number one rated VPN, but that's just a factual objective rating um, due to the dedicated IPs um, and some other features. So guys, check that out if you want. The free method, you could try Winscribe, but remember it's gonna be pretty limited. And I've had some users commenting that it's not working that well right now for geo um, blocking. All right guys, so now that you understand what geo blocking is and how to prevent it, that's pretty much all I am here to do for this video. My name is Tom Spark, logging out. And remember guys, check out my website, best10vpn.com if you wanna look at VPN reviews, tutorials, guides, or anything like that. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And click the links in the description below if you wanna support the channel, since this is my only job to help you guys find stuff interesting about VPNs. Thank you and good night.